Oceans of Kansas. So let's talk about the album, even though it was recorded here in New York and we're kind of having this homecoming, getting to play in the East Village and all, but Oceans of Kansas, what a word painting that is. Oceans of Kansas, that gives such beautiful imagery for most people probably think is like, there's no oceans in Kansas. What's going on? <laughs> Could you talk to us about what that means to you, both literally and metaphorically? We come into this museum that is a collection of some of the most extraordinary, truly like high level quality uh, fossils of aquatic creatures and life from 80 million years ago when Kansas was an ocean. Wow. It just completely blew my mind. You know, the, the beauty of these perfectly preserved fossils the fact that this wildly diverse life had existed on these beautiful plains of Kansas, that it had been an ocean, <laughs> and that 80 million years later, some amateur archaeologist, paleontologist, starts discovering these things. And through you know, his own passionate interest that he passed down to his kids and all that, they developed this museum. World renowned, some of the specimens are truly world renowned and extraordinary, like nothing like it anywhere else on the planet. And here it was in Hayes, Kansas. So, metaphorically, you know, it's like the way we, you know, as you go through your life, you often look back or maybe you don't. But anyway, you know, there are times when you rediscover things about your past that perhaps with time you can better understand or see more clearly, or you see the articulated experience of something in your past. And the passage of time has allowed you to understand it better or accept it better or even share it and disclose it. Right. Yeah. It was all those things. You're and digging I, up your own past, just like these um, archeologists dug up all these fossils of a world almost forgotten 